Hi everybody, in today's video I am super excited. I have a new indie brand to share with you. Um, the brand is called Live Amara. Um, they have an Etsy shop. They had a big release. The polishes are already available on the Etsy shop. They did release today. I'll link her Etsy shop. I'll link her Instagram down below in case you all are interested in checking these out. Um, and then the owner's name is Kirsten and I did just want to thank Kirsten um, for allowing me to swatch these polishes, share them with you guys, and kind of be like one of the first people um, like with the 411 on her brand. So um, I did just want to say thank you for that. I, I was sent two six piece collections from the brand and I did do swatches of these polishes. Um, let me show you guys the packaging on these and let's talk about that first. So this is the bottle. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I like her labeling here. This is a label sticker with her um, brand and name. I think this is all very modern looking. The polishes hold 13.3 milliliters of product. I think that's a good size. It's not like too small or mini. And then let me show you the brush. I did enjoy the brush on these polishes. Not the flat paddle that I usually enjoy so, so much, but it is wide um, and it is um, nice for application. And all of these polishes will be available for $10.50 on their Etsy shop. So I feel like that's a really good price um, for the amount of polish you do get. And since they are creams, I feel like that is a reasonable price for cream polishes. You guys know I love a good cream. Um, don't think I'm hating on creams. Cream is my favorite finish of all time. When you get a good cream and you top coat it, I'm like totally in for that. So, so the first six polishes are from her Jigglypuff collection. I don't know what a Jigglypuff is, but that just like cracked me up. It sounds really cute, like a cartoon or something. Um. So I'm gonna go from light to dark discussing the polishes. And there's one thing I just kind of want to talk about um, for the polishes overall. So when I first got these and started swatching them, they all were extremely thick. Um, so I did add about 10 drops of thinner to all these polishes, shook them up, let them sit overnight, and then did my swatch pictures after that. Um, thinner did help these polishes significantly. Um, I did mention this to Kirsten and she told me that she was going to um, look at all the bottles she had made and you know work with the formulas um, as she saw fit and then retest her batches. So I do think if you order you are going to get um, updated formulas from what I did get but if you don't and you still find them a little bit thick I think adding a little bit of thinner um, on your own isn't a big deal to me personally um, I loved a ton of the colors in these collections and so I do want to mention that to you guys um, I've said it before even if a formula is difficult if I love the color I will completely do what it takes to get that to work on my nails um, so when I do talk about these keep that in mind um, I'm you know, I'm, I'm picky about formulas, but color to me is like the overall thing. Like if I love the way it looks on my nails, I'm going to deal with um, tricky formulas to get the look. So keep that in mind just as I talk about all these polishes. Um, first polish from that collection is called Sublime. Look at this color, you guys. Oh, I was in love with this. When I pulled this out of the package, I was just like, oh my goodness. It completely said summer to me. Like a bleached out lime color. It's super pretty, super interesting. Um, it is unique to my collection, I feel like, because it does have a neon quality to it, but it is um, like whited out. It's really, really an interesting color. It's very refreshing to me, says summer to me. Um, but the formula on this was a tiny bit difficult. Um, after I added thinner, it did take three coats to get opaque with this polish, which is not um, unheard of for this type of color. You know, when you do a bleach neon, the formulas aren't always the greatest, you know, that's just the bottom line. Um, but one thing that I did notice with the formulas and that did happen on several of the polishes is when you put the first coat on, you really have to let that first coat dry because if you try to go in with the second coat too soon, it wants to pull the first coat up a little bit. So with some of these polishes, if you do decide to get them, you're going to have to be patient and give the coats um, a really good time to dry before you move on to the next coat. So. Um, this was one of those polishes. I will talk about each individual polishes formula separately, but um, that was something I did notice in several of the polishes. So um, my swatch picture, this is going to be three coats plus one coat of top coat. Once this was on the nails looking nice, you guys though, oh, it just glows and it like really, I don't know, it's just beautiful. It pops. I could imagine this is a beautiful pedicure. Um, I loved it as a manicure and I think um, the like darker skin tones especially, this would really, really pop off your nails so so pretty um but be prepared for a little bit of a trickier formula with this i just want to get that out there
Next up is called Wavy. This is a very beautiful turquoise blue polish. I don't feel like this has the same neon quality as Sublime, um, and I don't feel it's as unique as Sublime, but it is a very beautiful color. Um, you guys know I'm a sucker for these kind of like turquoisey blues. This polish did get opaque in three coats, so my swatch picture is three coats plus one coat of top coat. The formula on this was not as tricky as Sublime, um, but it does take three coats, so I do think there are some other turquoise polishes where... Um, you can get a little bit better formula so there's that but i think this is really beautiful and i would definitely um put this on my nails again so next up is called fancy and nancy look at this shade of purple you guys it's so pretty i feel like it has a touch of a neonish type quality but it is muted um and also maybe like a touch of pink i thought this was super super flattering um on the nails and the formula on this was really really good after i added thinner it was two coats to get opaque the coats were easy they went on smooth it didn't have that same like pulling up of the first coat that the um sublime did it just went on really really smooth and really nice i hardly had any cleanup with this polish either um i really enjoyed this one you guys if you are a purple person um you might want to check this out it is pretty i think it would be a beautiful pedicure and like i said i just think it's really really flattering to my skin tone and as the summer goes on and i do get darker i think it will um look even better next up is flamingo Look at this color, guys. Oh my gosh, I was in love. As soon as this came out of the package, I was in love. This sort of reminds me of like a Barbie or um, like Pepto-Bismol color. I love Pepto-Bismol color, by the way. And um, it's so, so pretty. So this also did need thinner. Um, after thinner was applied, it was like two to three coats. Some nails had two, some nails had three. I think if I weren't taking pictures, I could have totally gotten away with two coats of this polish. Um, this did have the same formula of a little bit wanting to pull up the first coat when you go to put on the second coat. So you really have to let the coats dry in between. But I still don't think this was as tricky as the Sublime Polish. This was slightly better. Um, but this type of color does tend to have those type of issues. So I wasn't completely surprised by this color having some formula issues either. Because these sort of like bleached out neons, something about them just has a little bit of a difficult formula. But for this color, I would put on 45 coats. Um, I, I just would. I love it. So I always look for a good Pepto-Bismol pink, and I think this is a good Pepto-Bismol pink. I would love this as a pedicure. I'm actually thinking um, when I take off what I have on now, this may go next on the toes. So, so fun. So pretty. Summer in a bottle to me. I think the name Flamingo completely hits it. Um, Beautiful polish. Then this next one is called Drama Mama. I loved that name. I think it's really cute. This is like a watermelon red polish. It's sort of a pink leaning red. I love these types of shades in the summer, you guys, um, especially for pedicures. They pop off the toes and they're just really gorgeous and flattering on the hands. It's a super classic color. Um, it looks very put together in my opinion. Um, formula on this was really good, but it is a jelly polish. So it is three coats to get opaque, but it has that really nice like juicy, squishy look um if you all love jellies then you're gonna know exactly what look i'm talking about this has that then you put the top coat and it makes it even like more juicy looking this is a really really pretty polish um i love this type of shade in the summer and um you know for a jelly finish you're always gonna end up doing three coats so i could see myself wearing this a ton in the summer i think it's very classic um and just really really beautiful Next polish is called Rider, and this is sort of a like cornflowery blue with like a touch of purple. I love these blues that kind of want to be a little bit purple. It's like one of my favorite colors to wear. Um, formula on this after thinner was really good, two coats to get opaque. Um, it didn't have as much of the issue of pulling up that first coat, so you can apply a little bit faster and also not have to be so careful. Once you put top coat on this, so, so pretty, you guys. I think this would be a beautiful pedicure now in the summer. It's just a really, really beautiful shade of blue and a gorgeous polish. Six. So that is the first collection. The second collection, you guys, oh my gosh, this second collection completely stole my heart. It was like love at first sight. I was pulling these polishes out of the packaging like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, And every single one was so, so bright and pretty. You guys know I love my neons. You know I love my brights. And this just like 
was completely my style of polish so I'm gonna go to light from light to dark on these ones as well and this is called the nightlife collection in case I forgot to mention that so first polish is called traffic look at this it's a super bright neon yellow um, so this was probably the trickiest formula out of all the polishes I was sent so I do want to put that out there um, when I did add thinner the first coat was very thin and it does dry matte but it wasn't streaky but I don't feel like I ever reached full opacity on this polish. There was still visible nail line. I do think if you put this over a white undie, you may get opacity um, in two coats. And it may be even brighter in person if that's possible over a white undie. But I don't ever do white undies, so I decided not to swatch it like that. My swatch picture is three coats plus one coat, a top coat. Um, this does have the issue of wanting to pull up the coats in between. So do keep that in mind. You're going to need extra time. But um, it is a pretty color. It is very, very bright and it is very perfect for summer. This polish, you guys, oh, so beautiful. This is called Sour Apple. Look at this freaking green. Oh my gosh. The name to me is perfect. It reminds me of like when you pick the green apples, but it has like a touch of neon. It's so, so pretty. I would never hardly put green on my toes, but I think this is a green I would try on my toes because it's just so pretty. Um, formula on this after I added my thinner was good. Um, two to three coats to get opaque, depending on application and nail length, I think. And, um, it didn't want to pull up the layer beneath as much as some of the other polishes, but this is another one you're gonna have to be a little bit patient and take a little more time because it, it does want to do it a tiny, tiny bit, but for this color, like this is another one. I would put on 45 coats of this polish to get this look on the nails because it's so interesting, so pretty. This is very unique to my collection, I feel like, and it's just a beautiful, super bright summer cream. Next one is called Passion. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. So this is like the most perfect macaroni and cheese powder color ever. Once I added thinner to this, it was two coats to get opaque, which is amazing for a color like this. I told you guys before, I'm in love with China Glaze Sun Worshipper. This usually takes me four coats to get opaque, and then top coat usually like saves the day and makes it look presentable to wear. Um, I was thinking this could be a nice replacement. You can see that this is a touch more yellow. This is a touch more orange formula on this though is so much better than this. Um, I really, really loved this polish, you guys. Um, it's just like so bright, so interesting. It is very unique to my collection as well. If you're a neon orange lover, I definitely would recommend this polish. Super pretty, super interesting, so bright, um, so beautiful. This was my favorite out of all of the polishes I was sent. As soon as I put this on the nails, I like literally almost died. Um, this is called Playful and it's a gorgeous neon red polish. Um, it's so, so, so pretty, you guys, so bright. This was the best formula out of all the polishes even before I added thinner. Once I added thinner, it was two coats to get opaque. I wore this around for a few days just to get an idea of like wear time, make sure I wasn't gonna get a ton of chips before I did this review video. Um, two days, no chips, no tip wear. That's about the longest amount of time I wear my polish anyway, so that's what I decided to wear it for. I got a ton of compliments on this polish. People were like, what is that? It's so bright, so summery, so beautiful. Um, when I put up my teaser video of this on Instagram, a lot of you guys thought I had finally bit the bullet for Cirque Game Over. Um, so if it's that close, I don't think I might not order Cirque Game Over because this is so pretty. And um, the formula was really good. So I plan to put this as a pedicure. I'm hoping to get this on the nails sometime in the summer, maybe even a couple times. Like, it's so good. I just loved this on my skin tone. I think as the summer goes on and I get even, like, darker, it's going to be even better. This is going to be one of my favorite summer polishes going forward for sure. It's so beautiful, you guys. So beautiful. This is second favorite out of all the polishes I got sent. Look at this. It's like glowing off the camera. It's like radioactive pink. I don't even know how else to describe it. It's so freaking beautiful, people. Beautiful. Um, This is called Rave. And after I added thinner to this, it was almost a one-coater. 
if I would have known that the formula was going to improve so much, I think I could have gotten it opaque in one coat. I probably still would have done two coats because I was doing swatch pictures. So next time I try wearing it, I am going to try getting it opaque in one coat to see if that works out. But this is another one. If it took 50 coats to get the look of this in the bottle, I would do it because this polish is so freaking pretty. It was like love at first sight for this polish for me, you guys. Oh, I'm in love. I could see this as the most perfect pedicure. This was gorgeous on the nails. And then I think when my nails grow out, if that ever happens again and I get darker, even better, um, I would pair this with like a silver accent nail or like black accent nail or silver and black accent nail. I just, oh, this pink is so, so, so freaking pretty. Like so freaking pretty. This is probably one of my new favorite pinks ever. And I have a ton of pinks, so that says a lot. And then the last polish in the collection is called Bella. And this is a very, um, it's an interesting color. It's sort of a turquoise, but not, I feel like. It's, it's like a little bit darker. I don't know, it's really, really pretty. This, you guys, is so pretty as well. The formula on this though was a little bit not what I was expecting for the color being so dark. It did take three coats to get opaque. Um, but the coats were fairly easy. It didn't have as much issue pulling up the coat before it. Um, so you can move a little faster with it. And then once I top coated it, I was in love with it. This pops off the nails big time. Um, I think this would be a gorgeous pedicure as well. I feel like your nails are like visible from like across a football field with this last six polishes. And that's a look I like. So this is really, really pretty. Um, and then in case you noticed, some of these polishes did seem similar in color, so I do just want to show them to you side by side. Um, I don't think anything was super close, but when I was pulling stuff out of the packaging, I was like, oh, kind of similar. So I do want to show you side by side just because I thought that, and I'm sure you guys might be thinking that as well. So these are the two greens I was sent side by side. Um, you can see these are completely different colors. This is more um, limeish, or I don't even know how to describe this color, but this is, I mean, they're different, completely different. So those are them side by side then there's three bluish type colors um these two you can see how this has a touch more purple um this is darker and then this is just way off it's completely turquoise compared to these other two but these are so pretty you know what would be pretty with this would be like a skittles mani of all of these polishes um or like a not a gradient um a gradient's where you like the nails are different colors on one nail, but this would be like one of each color on all the nails. I think that would be super pretty with these, like a tonal, tonal manicure, I don't know what you call it, but that would be cute for these with these polishes. Um, So those are the blues. There's nothing like this yellow, so there's that. Um... And then these are kind of like the orangey reddish shades. This is obviously way different, so I'm going to pull that out and then talk about these two. So um, as you can see here, I feel this is more neon, especially in person. I feel like they're showing up a lot more alike looking in camera than they actually are. This is more of a neon red. This reminds me of kind of like feeling crabby from OPI. It's like a very watermelonish type red, and this is way brighter on the nails um, when you apply it. So they look similar in the bottle, they look similar on camera, but they are different in person. And then here are the pinks in the collection. You can see that these are very, very different. Both bright, but like on completely different ends of like the, you know, um, light and dark factor. Both of these polishes, you guys, oh, right up my alley in pinks. I love a good pink. Um, and then there's nothing like the purple in the rest of the collection either. So just in case you were wondering if they seem extremely similar, um, some of them are close, but I feel like they're all different enough you know, to have each one if you did any of them stood out to you. Um, there are some other polishes on her website. This was a fairly big launch. I'm just going to read you off the other collection names. There's a Starburst collection that had five polishes. Um, let me see if I can show you those just on camera. So these are all very bright as well and really, really pretty. Whoever swatched those has really pretty nails. If it was any of you guys watching. <laughs> Um, that was the Starburst collection. Then there was a um, Temptation Duo. Um, these are a little bit different than a lot of the other stuff. There's a gold and a purple. I don't know if those just launched or not, but those are on there. And then she also has um, 
also has some nail tattoos that are coming out if you want to see how these look i know she put some on her instagram and i think unapologetically laura did some manicures with them i'll link her instagram down below so you can check out some of those manicures and these are fairly reasonable they're $1.99 um i don't know how many they come in a sheet or what you get or anything but um they're super cute this is um laura did some mickey mouse manis with them look how cute that is you guys those are laura's nails that's adorable so i might pick up some of those tattoos i'm actually going to be going to disneyland um next month my husband's taking me to star wars land you guys i'm about ready to like pee my pants with that i'm so excited um so that was the mickey mouse one there's some marilyn monroe um unicorny rainbow type stuff i think that's laura's nails as well look how cute that is um so those are $1.99 those look really cute um and those are on her website as well i'm not sure how i use them or anything like that but um I might order some of those. They look kind of fun. It's like a nice way to do nail art without having to like actually be talented in nail art. So I'm on board for that. Um, so that is it for this video. I know it was kind of long. I had a lot of polishes to talk about. And I did want to be completely honest with you guys about formulas because I feel like you... Um, when I recommend something, you know, I know you guys trust my opinions and I don't want to lose that with you guys just because I'm reviewing polishes. So, um, that is it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video and I hope you're having an amazing evening. Bye.